past uh, fall, in the end of 2017, I had the opportunity to take two days of cross-cultural training out at the Nantwick. Um, and it was a wonderful experience. And it was facilitated by a, a woman, Gertie um, Boat, I can never put her last name, Boat Cage. And Gertie uh, was born the same year as me. And um, that's what struck me. Um, well, she was just a wonderful facilitator, but she was born in 1954, the same as me, but she did not have a birth certificate that looked the same as mine. And I found that awful shocking. And because she had a birth certificate that looked different, um, the, 19th, the 1884 Amendment to the Indian Act um, made it compulsory that, that she attend um, one form of school or another. Um, fortunately for her, I don't believe that she had to go to a residential school. Now, um, but a lot of folks did. And I mean, a lot of folks died, and a lot of folks lost their cultural heritage. And you know this song because I've sung it a couple of times before. And if you agree with the sentiments that Neil Young expressed, how about we all try and sing the refrain, you know, when God made me, when God, whenever I come to the end of a verse, maybe we could all sing it because that's the way he intended it to be. Was he thinking about my country or the color of my skin? Was he thinking about my religion or the way I would worship him? Did he create just me in his image? Thank you. 